Hello and welcome to the session on a VEX V5 spin up. My name is Rob from Steam Labs, and in today's video, I'm going to share a few early designs with you that you can maybe start thinking about for this year's VEX V5 spin up competition. Now, these designs are in very, very early stages now for our teams. I will walk you through how the mechanisms could work or might work and how you can actually adapt these for this year's competition. Now, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be posting quite a few videos on programming in VEXCODE V5 Pro and how you can also use the GPS sensor, optical sensor, distance sensor and also the inertial sensor. So, let's get started and have a look at these mechanisms. Okay, so you have got another couple of potential designs which you can add to your V5 robots here. So this is one of the mechanisms that our team is working on at the moment. So this here is a flywheel mechanism. This is similar to the mechanism which was used in the VEX IQ competition last year. So for the gearing here, we are using 62, 12, 60, and then 12 again. We've got rubber bands around the VEX V5 wheels and the spacing between here is around 5.5 inches right now which is just enough space to get the disc through now you can see here i haven't added the other flywheel i don't think we're ready to add this yet but this is a possibility for getting your disc into the goal now in the reveal video for the spin up 22 23 competition you saw a design which probably looks similar to this. So this is a chain and sprocket design, and this can sit on your robot base, and this should be able to pick up discs and then load them potentially into a flywheel, which can sit underneath, or into another mechanism, which I am gonna walk you through now. Last potential mechanism I'm gonna share with you now, this is called a disc puncher. So inspiration for this mechanism for our team has come from the video underneath. This at the moment is incomplete because they are going to need to shave some of the teeth off of this green gear which I'm touching now in order to get it to work correctly. Now if you've been able to get the disc from the field and let's just say you've loaded it or managed to suck up the disc using your chain and sprocket mechanism, this disc puncher could then be used as an alternative to the flywheel to try to get the disc into the high goal. Now this isn't working yet. But the way that this would work is the mechanism would go back and then you'd also need some elastic bands on here but this would then at a very very high speed be able to launch the disc into the high goal.